Okay, now you saw here that these things are basically glowing. And if you suspect that this is going to be the case, you can actually do things in a more clever way instead of looking at all the subsets and all the 2 to the power 7 thing which is prohibited, you can use the step function. The step function proceeds in a more regular way. So once it picks up one particular variable as a good thing, it will keep it and then try to include one more and then try to include one more and possibly drop something that is already taken care of. So it will move by, so it will move along a path. So every step it will decide which one to include, which one to include, like that. So it is a greedy algorithm, unlike this function that I showed, which will just uh, do the global optimization. If you use the step function, you will fit just your ordinary LN, just fit that, that full thing, and then you will use step, and you will get a new model. So let's take a look at the new model, L mod 1, and a new model will throw away some of the things, and it has said that, I need only population, MARDA, HS grad and frost. So it has, has its own optimization criterion. Basically it starts with the full model, then drops something and sees which reduces the BIC the most and it moves, moves, moves and in this way it will actually get it. Now you can actually look at the BIC values even in case of that all subset selection. So if you see what is inside my output of all subset selection by the names function, you will see there is something called BIC, that is the criterion it has used. So let's take a look at that BIC. And you will see that the BIC, so there are exactly seven values. So here it is minus 39. If you are using just a single variable, it is minus 39. Is it good or bad? You do not know. BIC is not an absolute measure. So one number stand, standing alone doesn't make any sense. If you allow two variables, then the number has gone down, minus 42, which means it's better. If you use three variables, it has gone down even more, it is even better. If you use four variables, it is very good, minus 47. But if you use five variables, then the fit has become worse in the sense, it has really not improved much, but since you are adding one more parameter, the parameters are less reliably estimated. So, things have sort of hit a minimum and they start going up and then again it is worse and it is worse. So naturally the best choice will be a subset of size 4. That is basically what your step function also told you. So this is how you might do subset selection in R.